Hi, this is Edmund from Sports Trading AI. So today is the 12th of January 2020. So let's take a look at a matchup between Iran under 23 versus Korea under 23. For the Asian AFC under 23 championship that's being played at Thailand. So basically for this kind of uh, competition when all the teams are actually played in a, in a, a different uh, venue, we will use um, all the away statistics for the home and away team, right? Because literally they are all playing away, right? So basically, let's take a look at the opening handicap. Uh, it was half ball at 1.95 odds and then it drops all the way to 1.67 odds, right? That means uh, minus 28 cents water money and then it transition to uh, quarter ball at 2.04 odds and then subsequently it drops to 1.94 odds. So in total, the uh, the water money was all um, was uh, minus thirty nine cents, which is quite heavy, yeah, right? Any anything above twenty cents is considered Titanic, la, right? So this is like almost like a pretty uh, pretty heavy Titanic. So for banker bet um, statistics, all this was a clear banker bet opportunity for the away team. So basically. Uh, opening odds was in favor of the Korea under 23. Odds movement in favor of uh, Korea 23, under 23. Uh, formula was super strong away win in favor of uh, uh, Korea under 23. And then if you take a look at the goal, the goal scoring average, um, uh, Korea actually have uh, they scored five goals in the past uh, three away games, and then they won one nil against uh, China, right? So in terms of goal scoring average. Um, they have a plus uh, 0 0.67 average which is close to one 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 ball and then because the handicap is a uh, minus 0 0.25 handicap uh, that's why the the uh, goal scoring average is actually in favor of the away team as well and then the head to head meeting uh, actually korea actually won uh, away i think two nil in the previous uh, away meeting uh, playing at iran so basically all five banker bet uh, factors were pointing towards uh, Korea under 23 and then if you take a look at the matchup uh, it was a draw versus a, a win right because uh, Korea won against uh, uh, China uh, under 23 by 1 nil and then Iran only managed to have a 1-1 one -one draw in the last uh, away games and in fact uh, in the past uh, five away games they only managed to to win um, they draw two games and actually lost three games Right, so typically for quarter ball, uh, for draw matches, we we wouldn't want to actually consider it as two over five in terms of winning percentage because uh, when it's a draw and then you are plus a zero point two five uh, handicap, you are actually winning half, right? So we need to make sure that the risk reward ratios are intact, and that's why uh, for this kind of situations, we always. Uh, we always uh, put uh, it as a loss unless you are actually winning the bet in full, right? Similarly, if let's say this is a plus 1.25 handicap and then, you know, they lost by one goal, we wouldn't put it as an advantage to the home team, but then we try to try to give advantage to the away team unless it's a plus 1.5 handicap, right? So basically, this is pretty clear cut. All the, all the factors are pointing towards uh, Korea under 23 and then we won the bet. So if you like this video, kindly subscribe to the channel to find out more about the tip results as well as track records. Kindly scroll down to the links below or visit our website at www.sportstradingai.com. Feel free to leave any comments and drop us any questions. We'll be happy to actually answer to all your, all your questions. Thank you. Bye-bye.